Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time of watching me, please subscribe. In today's video, we will be talking about personal hygiene. How pregnant women should be taking care of yourself now that's given to them or not to take care of their unborn child as well. If you are pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant, you probably know some of the basic pregnancy advice about taking care of yourself and your unborn child. Number one advice is don't smoke. As a pregnant woman, it's not good for you to be smoking because of your child. Number two, don't drink. Drinking, drinking of alcohol is not good. So if you're drinking, you have to stop it. Number three, the clothes you wear, the clothes you put on, make sure you're putting on or losing clothes, clothes that will not tight your body. If you're putting on the other day or trouser, pencil trouser, you have to stop it because the, the baby will not be comfortable when you put on all these. So you have to put on losing clothes. If you want to put on a, a trouser, you should wear the one that is big. That is bigger enough so these are the things she should be wearing and if you want to put on your or, or shoe don't put on high shoe always put on low flat low shoe if you are feeling cold you can wear or boost then put on your low shoe because as a pregnant woman it's not good for you to be wearing high shoe even if you're going to church you should not put on high shoe because of your own child and no bad or for or try your fingernails must be cut you should learn how to be cutting your fingernails as a pregnant woman it's good for you to be cutting your nails don't face nails at all even if you give birth don't face them because of your children but if you want to paint it don't paint with white, uh, red paint because you do visit hospital if you even if you want to paint your fingers or try and be using students paints to paint your fingers this is a white context is good for pregnant women that's the paint you should be using number five or try and be waking up every morning you don't just or sleep morning in the evening or try and be helping yourself because if you if you sleep if you are sleeping you you you'll be losing strength you know that's true so try try your Try yourself and wake up in the morning or uh, and arrange your bed, sweep your room. Even if your room is sweep is okay before then sweep your room. It's part of exercise. Then open your windows. Your windows must be open so that the fresh air outside will come inside. So you then walk around, take your bath, walk around, go to the supermarket, come back. It's part of exercise. So these are the things. You should be doing as a pregnant woman number six always uh, shave your armpits always shave and the hair in your private parts make sure you always shave it because you do go uh, visit the hospital you do go to hospital for shake up or another so number seven always take your drugs i know pregnant women don't always take your drugs because they feel that i don't know so always take your drugs as a pregnant woman. They are, they are giving the drugs to you. They are not giving it because of your because of you. They are giving it because of your child. So always take your drugs so that you have to protect your child. So no man or eat. Don't eat too much. Yes, don't eat too much. As a pregnant woman, it's not good for you to be eating. You eat this one, eat this one. If you eat chicken, you eat all and then yam, you eat all those of our eggs. As you are eating all those things, it makes your baby to be big. So your baby is one inside. It's better than if you give birth to, to that child. One more, the baby will be big. So it's better, it's better that that one is better for uh, you, your baby is big inside. If your baby is five, uh, five kg, how will you put it? How will you push that baby out? So these are the things you need to consider you, to help yourself and to help your unborn child. Okay, so always uh, um, eat moderate, so always know when to eat and when not to eat. So these are the things you should be doing. Or 
stick your stick your so stick your stick your stick some vest. If you feel tired, if you feel tired, you can take some vest and all that. So don't stress yourself too much. Drink enough water. Water is good for the body. As a pregnant to more water, drinking of water is always good. So learn how to drink enough water. Get any bag, just put it inside your room. If you go to market, five five months to the four months to you can do that. So you can go to market, then get some few things, come and be putting it inside. So that's how to arrange your baby pack. It's not when you want to deliver one or one one week, two weeks before you start stressing yourself no you can get it five more uh, five months to four months to so you start putting everything so you can go to market buy some dress then come and put it inside buy powder pampas and all those things come and put it inside that is how to arrange your baby bag and about um, 12 bleaching cream if you are using bleaching cream as a pregnant woman you have to stop it it's not good bleaching cream is not good if you actually want to use a cream make sure you are using it well Nivea is the best. Yeah, Nivea is the best. So, if you're using bleaching cream, stop bleaching cream. It's not good for you. Okay. So, these are the few hours I have for you today. Or when to call your doctor, number one, if you're having pain, any kind of pain at all. Yes, you should call your doctor immediately. Number two, strong clamps. If you feel strong clamps in your abdomen, make sure you call your doctor. Number three, contraction at 20 minutes interval. Contraction makes sometimes you notice your belly, your belly will rise up. You feel that pain, then later the the, the pain will your belly will, will go in there. So these are the contraction you notice. And number four, bleeding when you're having vaginal bleeding or leaking of fluid, you're having blood, blood coming out from your carrier part. If you're having a leaking of fluid, any kind of or discharge that or it can be or why the child would mix with the uh, blood and all those things so these are the things you should be noting and number five this is the next when you don't have strength you just have to sit when you, you don't have strength your eyes are turning you so these are the things you should you should notice but it's such shortness of breath you don't you, you you don't breathe very well so these are the things you should look at for number seven vomiting number eight the trouble working when you want to, when you are working you 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 don't know what to do you can't walk so number eight or number nine don't allow anybody to revive you have good sign don't allow anybody to revive you that person is not nurse or doctor don't allow anybody to revive you at home you still go to hospital because it's very risky to deliver at home okay i know that in the in europe we don't do that but Af in Africa, I know that some of the uh, Africa people are still watching me right now. So if you want to deliver yourself, make sure you go to hospital, okay, so that you you labor for it. So if you know what to do at that time, make sure you go to hospital. It's very very necessary. And uh, there are things I really have to share with you guys today. So thank you for watching. If there's any question about this video. You want to know let me see in the comment section please don't forget to like to share to comment and to subscribe please subscribe or if you subscribe you're not paying for it it's free so whenever i upload a new video you will be notified instantly so that's what subscribers mean so thank you very much for watching see you in the next video